<laughs> okay, well, Bill O'Reilly, guys, uh, host of the O'Reilly Factor on Fox News, is under fire today. Liberals are fuming. They're losing their minds. They're calling him a racist. They're calling him everything in the book after... Bill O'Reilly sat down on Fox and Friends this morning. They had asked him to take a look at a clip from Congressman woman Maxine Waters, who is a, uh, a very known hater of Donald Trump, hates him, says he needs to get ready for impeachment. The woman is anti-American. She shouldn't even be serving in any form in government whatsoever. And when they asked Bill to take a look at the clip, he said, you know how I was having a really hard time even paying attention to anything she was saying because I can't keep my eyes off that James Brown wig she's wearing on her head. And uh, there's a picture going around where it shows James Brown and Maxine Waters, and the hair does look very similar. Well, of course, liberals are coming out. They're screaming. They're they're yelling, saying that Bill O'Reilly is a racist and he should be immediately fired from his post at Fox News because of this. Of course, anything associated with color, the liberals are going to say you're racist. Okay, he was mentioning the hair. Okay, not the skin color. But of course, liberals don't see things. That way, yes, Maxine Waters is, in fact, a nut. I agree with you 100%. Comment coming in here from Periscope. All right, guys, so uh, just what can you expect? What more can you truly expect? Now, Bill O'Reilly did go ahead and later on in the day, he did apologize for the comments and said, look, I respect her position, everything like that. He doesn't agree with her politically, obviously. Um, but, you know, they thought that meant that, you know, she wasn't an attractive woman because he's comparing her to James Brown in a wig and the wig is black and blah, 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 blah. So, guys, you know, this is just what we come to expect. This is the daily insanity that we come across with liberalism because it is, in fact, a mental disorder. It is a very serious condition. So I hope you're not suffering from that. If you do know somebody who's suffering from it, hopefully you could sit them down, make them watch some Donald Trump speeches, tell them it's going to be OK, get them a nice cold glass of water, just tell them to relax, everything will be okay. But again, we're just sailing the stormy seas of, liber of liberalism here every day, guys. So anyway, check out the link below. I'll put it, subscribe to me here, CardsFan480, guys. Most importantly, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins, come into the kingdom of God, where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity, guys, all right? promise you it'll be the greatest decision you ever do make. All right, guys, so just keep it here. I'll keep bringing you all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates. Thank you, too, to all the new subscribers that have joined up recently. Keep it here, guys. I'll be back with more. Take care. Be safe out there. God bless, and I'll talk to you soon. And go listen to a little James Brown. It's good music.